Hello everyone, welcome to our poster. This afternoon we will discuss about effective practices to develop, distribute, manage a Python package with a large community of users and developers. So my name is Jot Teixeira, I'm working at Utrecht University with Alexander Bovan. And we are developing a series of open source software for structural biology. And here in this poster, I'm going to summarize the strategies that we have curated over the years on to maintain the healthy environment surrounding the repository. What do I mean? I mean everything that you need surrounding the source code of the project that is not the source code itself. I'm referring to unit tests, workflows, to workflows uh, running the building process automatically, to report on, on coverage, uh, coverage percentage, on building documentation. So everything that maintains the, so the repository a healthy environment that invites other people to contribute to and that main developers can keep a track of all the history of the repository, past, present and future directions. So if I have to summarize uh, everything uh, in a figure, you'll see that we have two main processes happening in the developing of the project, the pull request and the merging of that pull request to the main branch. So what I wanted to show you in this poster is how that you can automat automatize all the processes surrounding, surrounding these events. So if a developer sends new code to your project, we'll see how to configure a series of automated workflows that will trigger the tests automatically. And then can you can, how can you combine those, those automated tests with the human peer review process? And what happens after that pull request is merged? And what are the events that, uh, that can, you can configure to trigger automatically that can uh, bump the version up, deploy the new, packet, the, new, the new version on PyPI, and build the documentation and merge back to the main repository. So we are going to see how we can integrate all those things together automatically so that the burden on the, the, the developers is reduced so that the developers and the main developers on the code without needing uh, to worry about what is called the continuous integration processes. Obviously, there are many strategies out there. Here, we represent the ones that we have curated over the years and that we find most suitable in our experience to research software in Python. However, we believe that these uh, concepts can be applied to any programming language and any project uh, on many different areas, at least the, the most broad scope concepts. So, going up the poster, one of the things that we'll see is a QR code pointing to a repository. So, in this repository, we have uh, summarized and reviewed all these uh, processes that we are going to discuss, all these configuration files, all these pipelines, and how can you actually use them as templates for your own project? It can be to create a Python package, or it can be to, to to have a general project in a, in a GitHub repository that you need continuous automated workflows. So without further ado, I'm, just, I'm going just to quickly scroll on the repository that you can come to, to see and to navigate. And you'll see that you have all the, the required configuration files that this is not a cookie cutter, as, as uh, some of you may be aware of the existence of, this is not a cookie cutter, is a review repository that where we explain the strategies that we have implemented and we show how you can use those strategies to implement on your own. You can use this repository as a template or you can read the documentation and it will ex we will explain to you how you can learn and use those these implementations for your own uh, projects. So just scrolling uh, quickly, but you see here our motivation from where we have taken our information and which projects are actually using these kind of strategies. These are mostly from our own groups and uh, related projects. So I invite you to come to our poster and we can discuss all these uh, best practices to make sure that your projects have a healthy continuous integration workflow running uh, automatically and online. Thank you very much and see you soon on the conference.